This is known as a vice, V I C E. Okay, it's a work holding device. All right, this is a vice. All right, so you clean the base of the vice clean properly. Use a brush. All right, make sure there's no chip below. Very important, uh, cleaning important. Uh. And the pedal bar also clean properly. Now, put one piece of pedal bar here on this side. Then, another piece where this side here. Okay, you put your job on top of the pedal bar. Don't cram your work piece like this in, the, in between the pedal bar. Some students go back, I told them to put on top of the pedal bar, they go and cram like that. Wrong. Uh. This is the wrong way. Uh. This pedal bar is to support the job. I mean, uh, the, the, the base of the, the job. So this job, the material must come on top, rest on top of the pedal bar. Okay, and then try to put it flat in front here. Alright, once the face get it flat, approximately there, okay, no need to be so flat, alright, just a little bit different, but not, not so much different. Okay, use a vice handle to tighten. Use a vice handle, tighten together. Now, after tighten already, I want you to push one pedal bar. That one is a fixed jaw. This is a fixed jaw, this is a movable jaw. The one on the fixed jaw, the pedal bar, you push out a bit. Okay. Then you get a clamp because if you put together, uh, the clamp cannot go in. Uh. So you go, need to push one up and then this one, like this, tighten together. Tighten two pieces together on this side. First, this one needs to push up, this one, the clamp put in, tighten together. Okay, after you've done this, this job, after you tighten together, you loosen again. Then you move out, what? Move out about 10 mm out. Somewhere here. About 10 mm out. Clear? This side here. Then tighten. Okay, after that, what you do? This parabola push in. This one take out. So here must not have any parallel bar come out. Only the job come out about 10 mm. Can you see here? About 10 mm come out. Okay? Any question? Then I want you to raise the table up. Lock the table, lock the spindle, the table raise up. From here slowly raise up. Until where? Until the cutting face, the edge here go below the job. Like this. So you take the parallel bar as a guide like this. Raise up slowly. Okay. One turn only 2.5 uh. So you don't expect one turn to go out 20 mm uh. This one one turn only 2.5 uh. So slowly raise up Alright All the way Okay here See Paraba must be below the job You put a, you put a paraba touch the cutting too It must go below the job At least about clearance it, Maybe about 8, 8 mm or 10 mm below. Clear? Because later on I will show you how to cut this face screen cut. At like least. Clear? Alright, tap downward, tighten. If you want to loosen, you put handle over this side. Then you tap downward. This way is loosen. On the left hand side, tap downward is loosen. Like that, loosen. Clear? Alright. Okay. So, Tighten, you put a job 10 mm out. Tighten this way, step downward. Okay, finish. Take out the pedal bar, but the other piece, make sure you don't take out uh, support. Uh. Okay, then raise up the table. Uh, this is the part some of them struggling, right? Okay, never mind. It's a good ex form of exercise for you. Uh. No need to go gym. Uh. I every day exercise here. See my muscle? Good. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Every day I do, do a new class. I got and show them. Uh. So you raise up. Now if your right hand tired, you change it to your left hand. Right? Uh, change to your left hand. 
but make sure you observe like, okay look at the cap play don't hit against the cutter ah. clear so raise up until where ah this one must long ah kinder must long ah so here raise up again Not enough, huh? You haven't go below yet, huh? Alright. Okay, raise up some more. Enough now. You see? Go below the the face of the cutter, go below the job, right? Ah, now okay, for clearance already, alright. So now be ready to start. Okay. Okay. Before we start your job, cutter somewhere in the center of the job. Alright, somewhere in between these two point here. Okay. Then make sure there's a gap. Don't touch the job surface yet. On the machine. Set to low. Button on. Okay, when the cutting tool is on already, you need to do one more thing. Use a cut from here. This one plastic cut. Put in front here. Ah, this is a safety yeah, to take your eyes out. Then wear your goggles. Make sure you put on the goggles. Double protection. Yeah. This one plastic cut. Wear your goggles for your own safety, your personal safety. Yeah. Okay, I want to bring the job touch the cutting tool. Remember, uh, your cutter cannot be stationary. Uh. The cutter must on, uh, the spindle must on. Then, cutter, uh, move, in, move in slowly to touch. Don't rush. So move in slowly from here, bit by bit. And then your finger not going in any other point, yeah? Alright, slowly. As you go nearer, you slow down the movement. Clear? Alright, then you slow down the movement. Once you touch the surface, you will see some particle, some jig drop off. Okay, you can see now, touch already. Once you touch already, stop. Don't move away, yeah? And then move across from here. Move here. Then move across, back again. Okay. Now at this point, I will stop. Enter. Okay, once you press X0, enter. After the decimal point, you must have three zero. One, two, three. If that's it, like this. After the decimal point, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Right or wrong? Wrong, huh? this is inch. Can you see the inch lighted up? Wrong, huh? we are not using inches, huh? we are using mm. So you press one more time, can you see the inch here? And then it becomes 3, 3. Understand? Clear now? Alright. Okay. Just now when I touch it, I never move this one right. Then I set x0. Okay, if I want to cut point 2, how to move? This one? Point one, point one three, point one eight, ah, point two. A little bit behind doesn't matter, okay? So zero point two. Not like this, ah. Like this is two mm, ah. Not two point zero, ah. Two point zero wrong, ah. It must be zero point two minus zero point two. Just now I said zero right. All right. I move in minus. Two. Okay, then I on the machine. Cut. Slowly, don't move too fast. Control the movement here. Now, still not enough, right? So what must you do? Again, another point two. So 
Here we go, 0.4. Now the, second, the top piece starts to cut already. Okay, you see here, after you cut already, the surface is very rough, right? You can see the surface is all very rough. Okay, don't put your finger there. Huh? Alright, now what you do, you don't touch the reading. Just go back one more time, do the finishing down cut. Down meaning, slowly move, move through again one more time. Down cut slowly. Still got some cutting, right? Okay, now you see. Every time when you want to check, make sure the spindle is stopped. Machine off. Then you check. Okay, come over here. Take a look. How about this? Both piece flat. Shiny. Okay, understand? So this is the datum that you use. Alright, so you're going to cut to how many mm? According to the drawing, what is the overall length here? 90. 90. Plus minus 0 0.1. Okay. Alright, now, put the job clean properly. Alright. Put this way. Like this. Support already the pedal bar. Take out this piece. Only one piece left, uh. alright, and then this one, put it inside, tighten the jaw. After that, what must you do? Same thing. Ah, now what you do? This one lock. Okay, then table ring out again. Ah, this one is the exercise part. Uh. Alright, this one is the exercise part. Uh. So bring out all the way. Okay, bring it all the way slowly. Ah, long way to go, huh? Ah, see where? Ah, see what? Until the water go below the drop surface clear. Reach, huh? Still got a bit more, huh? <laughs> okay, now clear, right? Two more turn. See ya? Here, here. Then what you do? Same thing. Start. The spin turn speed low. Put the cut on. Okay, then slowly touch the surface. Touch already? Don't move. This one, move across. Okay, you move the cross feet. Then you set X to zero first. Enter. Move in, point two, point three, cut across. Slowly move me across. One piece cut, one piece not cutting. Another point three, point two. So okay now. Both piece cut it right. So what you do? Table don't move away, ah. Uh. Alright, move the job out. Then what must you do? I only cut 0.5 right. Just now I check it's 2 mm right. So now I do a check again before I cut the actual size. Stop the machine, stable the uh, job out. 
use a vernier, hold the vernier properly. Yeah. Okay, hold this way. Check now, this is 91.4. 91.4 and minus 90. 1.4. Okay, 1.4. So, I reset again to zero. Right. Then, zero right. I go 1.4 to cut right. Slowly you cut, uh. don't stay away 1.4. Uh. Too heavy cut, cannot. Uh. 0.5 first. Right. Half an MMA first. Cut across. Slowly move. Once the job is clear out of the cutter, another point five. Okay, one point zero ah. So I got another one point got another zero point four ah. One point four. Clear? Sorry. Okay. Before you take out the job, double check. Stop the machine. Bring the job out. Okay, you don't check your reading like that, ah. Why? Why you don't check like that? Ah, cannot see. Ah, blocked by the cutter, right? Your vernier must face in front, make sure there's nothing obstruct. So here, job bring out. Because I don't worry the table, I never move, I just move across it. Then I check, double check. Okay, exactly 90.1. Certified, full mark. If you cut 89 mm, gong mark not? Are you sure? For tolerance point one eh, gong mark. One mm tolerance gong mark ah. Hello, friend. Don't come and kid, ah. Huh? Ah, zero point one tolerance. You must follow according to. Uh, if you cut on eighty nine point nine, go back. Uh. Yeah, point one tolerance. Uh, eighty nine point nine, full mark. Ninety, full mark. Ninety one, ninety one, go back, lor. No mark, ah. Uh. Still got to cut, ah. Uh. No, no, no half mark. Uh. Either zero or full mark. In, th in uh, engineering, it's like that one. Either QC pass or fail. Only. No such thing as in between one. Uh. Right. 